Hi everybody, just a short lecture on the mu and theta specifications, uh, specifically referring to the issues you had in TUT4. Very important, when we think of glucose consumption rates, we really think of energy that's getting generated. And what we'll be doing here is to split the glucose consumption rate up into two hypothetical streams. Um, so let's get on with it. So here we have the map from, uh, from the TUT in TUT4. And uh, what you see is the flux uh, model as we described and modeled. And you will note you that we have specified a mu as well as a theta in the TUT. So what we can do is theoretically is to split the flux up into two sections. So what I'm doing here is I'm just saying it's a section of a fraction of the flux that I split from the total flux. And basically what we're doing is we are now um, having a section or a fraction of the glucose going to make energy for growth. Okay, And this, this stream will have the biomass stream as part of the flux model. And then the other section, which will typically be a smaller fraction of the glucose flux, just goes down to making succinic acid and succinic acid to make energy and this relates directly to theta so just to write it down if we opt to specify theta as zero what we get is just the fraction of the glucose that is used to make energy for growth if we opt on the other hand to specify mu as zero we really just have the glucose fraction that flux down to form succinic acid and acetic acid to make energy for maintenance requirements. Very important, you will see that um, for the growth section there's a biomass stream and there's no biomass stream for the maintenance fraction of the glucose. Okay, so um, this will imply, and that is important, that the yield of succinic acid on glucose and even the yield of acetic acid on glucose will be higher for the maintenance flux because none of the carbon is getting channeled to making biomass okay so it's really when we first model it we specify mu and theta and it's one overall flux model and then we can split it up by merely specifying theta equal to zero to get the glucose flux or the glucose fraction of the flux for growth and we can Alternatively, specify mu as zero to get the maintenance fraction of the flux. All of these will just give us rates, and we can, of course, compare it to the total rate. Okay, that's it.